Hi guys, Diane here. Welcome to Daddy Dye's Crafty Corner. Today is Friday. So what do I, I've got a few things going today. First of all, today my house is totally empty. I'm the only one in it. It is so quiet. It's eerie, guys. So quiet. So something I haven't shared with you is that my husband has actually been out of work for the last four months with a medical condition. And today's his first day back at work. He's going to go back part-time, um, just three days a week, and then work back into the full-time. So um, today's the very first day that I will have nobody in my house until 5 o'clock this evening. I don't... Wow. That's all I got to say about that is wow. Um, the other thing I got going on today is today is the appointment for my... Um, daughter Susie, the school teacher's um, surgery, the surgeon that's going to be doing the surgery. So we have that appointment today at 2.30. So, you know, well wishes, prayers, and all that are going out. I'd like for them to go out today if you guys can. Um, you know, just for her to be in a good place as we have this discussion, that's all. And um, I thought I would work on a card today. I really wanted to play with the clearly besotted um trouble in a tutu set which i've taken out of the plastic pad packaging for glare purposes i stamped them out a couple of times last night um here because i thought i might need to um mask them off but i think i've decided but i think what i what i'm going to do is i'm going to be using the um the dynamics blueprints number 27 and that's the one that has this little window die with the squares um, and then this gorgeous little scallop right here too if you guys can see it that's that's beautiful I have a couple just like that from mama elephant and a few other companies but um that's super pretty so I'm gonna be using that maybe not sure how far I'm gonna get into this and so what I've decided to do is to take a few of these little characters, these cute as button little hippos, move that out of the way, and I've just kind of laid them out on my Misty on that frame where I want them to be. So what I'm going to try to do is to um, go ahead and stamp them on those little squares without the squares popping back up, which may or may not happen. Probably should have put a little bit of double-sided tape underneath there temporary tape but I didn't so we're just going to kind of go with it and see what happens ah I knew it wouldn't end well okay well we got the stamps where we want them all right so I did I'm feeling better today guys if you guys can't tell um, actually yesterday was the day that I felt um, probably the best that I felt in days and then today last night I woke up coughing most of the night but today I'm still doing okay I think so um let me turn this around we're gonna stamp it up and then I'm gonna pause you guys for a second while I go get a sweater that new AC <laughs> oh my gosh it's freezing me out of house and home I had no idea how bad our AC worked so I'm going to have to go grab a sweater real quick, and then I'll be back. I wanted to talk to you guys for a few minutes. Um, like I said, I have I did a little online shopping, even though I had put myself on a freeze. We already knew I was going to break that freeze with the Gina Marie Designs dies, the release. And I was waiting to see what Simon Says Stamp had to... Oh, poop a doop. Um, what Simon Says Stamp was offering, you know, that big secret thing that they were working up to, which released this morning, because I have an order with Simon Says Stamp that I need to order. I've got a couple of things in my shopping cart. But it's, you know, like $199 for products that aren't released yet and and all of that. Super cool stuff in there. And, of course, that Lawn Fawn stamp set I'm going to be getting when it releases in August. But um, I don't want to spend $199 on that package because, you know, some of the stuff in there, to be honest, I just wouldn't use. Or, or have something that I would use instead, you know what I'm saying? But a couple of them, super cute. 
So I'm excited about to get those, you know, when the release actually happens, I'll buy it individually. All right, let's see how this worked. I don't want to have to stamp it too many times. And then I do want to go grab my sweater. Okay, I'm actually happy with that. Looks good. Let's get this wiped off real quick. My neighbor across the street, the one that stares in the window when I'm um, doing videos, looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself. They're cutting the grass right now, so that's what you hear in the background. And I have another um, card that I'm gonna be working on in maybe today. I think I'll run out of time before I have to get ready to go to Susie's doctor's appointment, but. And then of course the hubby will be home all weekend, so, you know, you know. My quiet time will only happen this morning and I'm sharing it with you guys. Okay, so the Gina Marie stuff, you guys know, if you don't know, hold on, we're gonna pause. I'm gonna pause you guys for one second. I'll be right back, let me go grab my sweater. Okay, I'm back old ratty sweater intact all right so what was I saying okay so the Gina Marie stuff a lot of it released yesterday and some more released this morning so I actually placed two separate orders and then emailed her asking her to combine them um, if she wanted to you know but I ordered um, Let's see, what did I order? I took pictures of it. I went ahead and ordered that Stitch Star Die. Even though I have dies, um, Star Dies, I don't have too many of the large Stitch, so I got that. I got the um, Background Circle Plate, which I cannot wait to get my hands on. I ordered the Starfish um, and the Sand Dollar, the Loopy Rectangles, the um, the the rose the rose one whatever that was the dragonfly and the ladybug set and then today I ordered the loopy um, the stitch lace square dies the loopy square dies the sunflower the loopy oval, the birch tree dies, the little tiny birds, the pineapple, the pineapple, and I think that's it. There's the new dye, the, the new Lawn Fawn one that's coming out. I can't wait to get my hands on that. Oh, also yesterday I ordered the um, the heart collage die, which I had already ordered, so my bad. I ordered the seahorse, the lobster, the that quilt one, the 4x4 quilt block die, the skeleton, and um, happy holidays, and I really, really wanted the Merry Christmas, so I emailed her to see if by chance that might be back in stock. Um, what else did I do yesterday? I placed an order at Amazon for a few things. I had to get a new king size blanket and I ordered um, a few paper smooches dies from paper smooches as well and then this morning where's that paper smooches order Who knows? I ordered the from paper smooches I ordered the banner die the summer tree the lighthouse, the palm tree, the Merry Christmas die, the wood sign die, the seasonal tree, and a few of their flowers. And then from one, two, three stitch this morning, because I'm working on some Christmas cards, I ordered the You Melt My Heart um, from um, Poppy Stamps and Memory Box, the um, dies, and the snowman both. And it looks like that. It's got the little, what you call it, snow globe, and the little snowmen. And I, I like the snowmen because of the squareness of it. So I ordered that this morning. So that's what I've ordered. So that'll be coming in. Um, but yeah, I wanted to tell you guys about the Gina. I'm still a little loopy, guys. I'm sorry. And that's with no cold medicine, just antibiotics. But I'm still just kind of out of it. So here's my idea with this card. I wanted to put together, hold on, got to have a little sip of coffee. 
Mm. I figured what I would do is just chat, chat with you and let you see kind of what my idea is. And then I'll go ahead and film it without talking to you and just fast forward through the rest of the card. That way I still get to chit chat. So here's what my idea. My idea is I'm going to be placing this on this card base as well. Um, I may change out the color of the card base. I'm not sure about that yet. But I'm going to be putting these in here. But I'm going to mask them off first, which is why I cut these out. <coughs> Alright, I'm going to cut these out. I'm going to mask these off on here. And then I'm going to use my Distress Ink. And I'm going to do a um, an ombre of maybe pink to purple or... I think I'll probably do a pink to purple or maybe a coral to pink, something like that. I'm washing across it this way, just on those white cards. And then up here, I think I'm going to try to do on this little piece of cardstock the same thing. I'm going to do an ombre effect, but in maybe a teal or a blue and put the clouds and then put the stamp, um, the sentiment on there as well. So then that will all be in the window like that sitting on the card like this it's going to be you know going this way and I may change this color out to a colored card stock um, if I think it'll fit better because this frame is going to be white of course and then I'm going to pop the whole thing up all right so that's what I'm going to do for this card so I'm just going to um, go ahead and just start and you know call the chat part of it over and then I will just speed through the rest of it so that you can see it while I have my this is my new favorite fiber one bar orange cranberry bar it's really good I really like this one so I'm gonna have this in my coffee and I'm gonna get busy a um, mat cut fussy cutting <laughs> fussy cutting so that I can do some masking and then I will speed it up and um, see you at the end bye guys Well, hi guys, Diane back here again with Dighty Dye's Crafty Corner. I just went to turn the camera off and realized it had not been recording the entire time that I was making this card. So I thought I would share with you the card. So I did go ahead and ink those little squares with Distress Ink. I used sponge sugar and tumbled glass. And all I did was just, um, you know, ink them halfway up like that and then I used the Little Miss Trouble in a Tutu banner from the um, Dynamics I used the banner from the Dynamics 27 I put on there from the Clearly Besotted Trouble in a Tutu Little Miss Trouble in a Tutu I filled it with sequins I um, cut it out four times to give it the height and I used some My Favorite Things um, pink cardstock and Nina white color white cardstock on the bottom and then on the inside I used a Stampin' Up sentiment hello birthday girl and I just used a few dots to kind of give it a little bit of something on the inside so um, yeah there it's a shaker card I think I said that already so um, that's how it turned out I am so sorry that the um, camera wasn't recording but since I had made it, I thought I would go ahead and show it to you guys. Um, this is actually going out to my um, oldest granddaughter, Bree, who is my um, son-in-law's daughter from another marriage. Her birthday had just passed a little while ago, and um, I wanted to make this card for her because she does dance. and. Um, I just thought it was super cute so she's a little you know she's older but everybody likes hippo ballerinas you know so yeah so I made that for her I'm gonna stick a gift card in there and get it in the mail today so I just thought I would show it to you guys and um, the set that I used I don't remember the name of this set it's it's still on the um, Stampin' Up and the Stampin' Up catalog um, I should have looked it up in the book, but that's the one I used, and I just used the different, you know, I used Happy Birthday, um, what did I put on there, Happy Birthday Girl? Hello Birthday Girl is what I put down, so I used um, Hello Birthday and Girl, and then I used this cute little 
um, polka dot piece right here with those same color distress inks and just kind of put a little bit of something on the inside and I use the same white frame um, that I didn't use here remember I cut the white frame out I decided to do it in pink on the back so I used the white one on the inside so yeah so that's how it turned out I had thought I was recording the entire process and um, did not but you can see what a hot mess the um, also decided to go with blue that's what the other color I was thinking about I was thinking about doing the this pink to coral kind of making it go this way in transition but um, I decided to just stick with the blue on the bottom and the pink on the top so the pink would kind of match up here so yeah so that's what I did now I'm gonna go hop in the shower and get ready for Susie's doctor's appointment so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this piece together and upload it I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you tomorrow for another process video that I will actually tape all right bye guys